Hello, in this video we're going to look at Studio Max and um, camera navigation, uh, viewport navigation and aligning the camera to a view okay which works in perspective mode so uh, let's reduce that for the minute so here we go we're in we've got quad view up so if you want to maximize this viewport we can go down to the bottom right hand corner there's a little thing it says maximize viewport toggles if I sorry if I middle mouse in any viewport middle mouse click in any viewport that selects the viewport so I'm going to select the perspective view and then bottom right hand corner I'm going to maximize that viewport up there's a shortcut key which is alt w hold down the alt key and tap w and that um, toggles your quad view or your selected viewport like I want front view alt w there you go okay um, inside studio match you can render from any viewport by the way you don't need to render for a camera you can r render from anywhere so which then leads us on to a couple of problems because you might be doing really cool stuff and you know going like yeah yeah I really like this and it's all cool and groovy um, let's just look at our render properties so under render properties I've got 1280 by 720 um, okay that's good um, I'm not sure let's make a weird looking thing so we're doing it like let's do it like uh, that for instance so I'm just moving my viewport around just so you can see that um, the render I get from this if I press render I'm getting a 16 by 9 shaped render but my viewport is sort of square shaped so how do I know what's going to be in this render before I render it is my first question okay let's uh, get rid of that so well to do that if I go right and click on the top of the top left of the viewport and if I show show safe frame that will then show me the safe frame um, it's not displaying the yellow thing at the bottom so the same distance off that here well, it is sort of showing it you've seen the actual viewport here aren't you there you go um, let's just show that a bit better so let's go in here let's go top view and let's make a plane and just make a really big plane there we go and we'll make it like that and we'll make it a hideously not hideous colour like red there we go okay so in that let's uh, hit the select button okay so in this viewport now even though we haven't got a camera we have activated um, show safe frame which now shows the safe frame so we can see where the render is going to be if we go over to here again and press render we now get a better idea of what we're seeing yeah so that's good our next problem would be is and to navigate inside this let's go um, alt w to maximize it to uh, navigate a 3D viewport inside Studio Max it's mainly about the middle mouse button so middle mouse button on its own hold down you pan the viewport around uh, middle mouse button using the scroll wheel backwards and forwards you push in and push out of your view and hold down the alt key and then, then you press and hold and drag left right front and back on your middle mouse you can rotate around the view so for instance say if I really liked uh, that as my view but I want a camera there really rather than just a viewport there so um, if I press actually let's go create views da -da -da, create camera from view which is control plus C so C for camera control C equals create camera from a view so bang now what's happened is the top left hand corner has changed from perspective view to camera view and we can check this so if we alt W to so get quad view again and so there's a as our viewport we've just uh, minimized down to a quad view let's sort of make it a bit more squarey looking there we go um, if we change this viewport to being instead make it perspective view for instance we can see um, there you go so that's what's happening with this so that's all cool what I want to do now though is okay so a bit more time's gone on and I've been rendering from that view and I've built some more things I've got another uh, let's hold down shift actually press a W key to move hold down shift and make another one say there and so I want um, three of them there we go 
So, okay. And then I'm looking in this viewport, and so I'm back into modeling again. And you know what? I think this uh, petrochemical dump oil refinery type thing would look actually look better from this viewport. So, one, I'm going to right and click uh, show, say, frame again, so I can see what I'm looking at. But I'd like my camera to be here. Be nice, wouldn't it? So, what I'm going to do now is if I select my camera, and when I went up to here and it was da, 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 create camera from view yeah see it's currently greyed out because we're in a uh, a non perspective mode so let's just go to here let's just grab that okay select my camera oh, I'm in mm, this viewport let's just select the camera this way it's going to be easier select the camera there we go and then go to views and then create camera. I'm making this a real hodgepodge, it's not simpler than this. So create camera for me, it's just control C again. Bang. It's not it's not made a new camera, it's now moved that camera to match this perspective view. Yeah, so there's my camera view now, matches the perspective view. Okay, and just to like make it a little simpler, I'm gonna navigate again, put it over here, say that's my view that I really want to see is that view there for instance yeah so I've got this viewport selected the camera still selected itself so control C and that does that okay so that's good what about if I want two cameras so that's my that's my camera number one and I'm gonna go and say well, okay well camera two really wants to be um, let's go back to being sort of over here ish just to be different Let's uh let's do it that way. Let's do it that way. There we go. Just to be annoying. Okay. There we go. If I deselect that camera, okay, and click in this viewport, and I'll say that's where I want it to be, there. Now when I go control C, so I haven't got my camera current camera selected. Now I've now added an, a new camera, so I've now got camera two is now this. Yeah, and if I go in here and we'll go perspective mode and we'll up around there and we'll press F3 to give it some shading and F4 to do that. You can now see an Alt W. You can now see we've got two cameras in this view. Does that make sense? Right. So we've been navigating pretty easily uh, with the Alt middle mouse button and the um, and the middle mouse button for dolling in, dolling out, whatever. How do we navigate a camera in a view though? So um, if I want uh, if I want to look through this camera, guess what you press? I'll give you a clue. It begins with the first letter of camera. Okay, so press the C key. We're now looking through camera one. So we had the camera selected. Press the C key, then we're now looking through camera one. So let's navigate the camera then. So to do that, we need to change a little mode. At the minute, if I alt middle mouse, what's going to happen? So alt middle mouse like normal things and nothing's happening nothing's going nothing's nothing's working so bleh, what's happening then we're going to press f4 just to shade things right we need to activate um walk through mode as one of the things to do so bottom right hand corner right the way down here these two little feet walk through mode they're currently not highlighted so click on that we left hand mouse button now they're highlighted so now when we go back here one you got a new uh icon for your cursor so this is now putting your camera on a virtual tripod isn't it yeah so it's currently on a tripod so we look around this is just left hand mouse click by the way okay so okay but what what I want to do is wanna, I want to lower the camera down so it's too high at the minute so the tripod's too high so how do I do that so if you hold down the uh, shift key on your left hand keyboard and then press down on your cursor you'll find that your camera moves down. Let's just show you that. Um, so I'm going to Alt W this. Okay, and let's just make this a nice view here. Uh, Alt, there we go. Just want you to be able to see what's happening with the camera in this viewport. So select this again. We're in, it goes out of this mode, put it back into the mode again. So it's highlighted and it looks yellow. So if I go Shift and down on my um, cursor keys, yeah, you can see the camera is going up and down. If matter of fact, if I change that to left, that's going to be easier, isn't it? Yeah, 
bang there we go can you see the camera is moving down and moving up if I use my left to right cursor keys yeah the camera moves left to right dollies okay and again in the viewport I'm on that virtual tripod again so I can move that camera around and this is all happening if this is down okay so walkthrough mode is on okay the other thing you can do anything that's got a little tick next to it bottom right hand corner means if you click and hold on that you'll get another option so you also got a grab mode okay so now in grab mode so now you get a little hand that can grab okay and then that's that's just going like, to move your viewport around just pull your, your thing around you can't do any rotating it's just for grabbing and moving the viewport so if you want to something's off center you just go oh it's over there but click on this again hold it go into walkthrough mode you get the similar thing by the left and right cursor keys yeah so left right okay and a shift one again to go down and shift on your cursor keys to go up and that basically is that okay so viewport navigation inside studio max and also how to match a camera to a viewport quite a long video um hope i didn't lose you on that one and very sorry to have the pink cylinders some people just don't like pink but there you go Right, uh, that, oh, it's 11 minutes, crikey, time for a cup of tea. Right, um, onwards and upwards, uh, hope you enjoyed, if you didn't, really sorry. See you in a bit, bye.